Shabbat Shalom, Little Hebrews, and welcome back to school and back to Shabbat Basics. This is Big Sister Isilia, and we're going to be going over the story of creation with you today from Genesis chapter 1 and a little bit from chapter 2. So, find your comfortable place and let us listen to the story. In the beginning, Yah created the heavens and the earth. And the earth was formless, little Hebrews, so it had no shape, and empty, so it was not filled, and darkness was on the face of the deep, and the spirit of Yah was moving on the face of the waters. So remember this, little Hebrews, because in the beginning, Yah created the heavens and the earth, and evolution is a lie. And Yah said, let light come to be and light came to be. And Yah saw the light, that it was good. And Yah separated the light from the darkness. And Yah called the light day, and the darkness he called night. And there came to be evening, and there came to be morning, the first day. And Yah said, let space come to be in the midst of the waters, and let it separate the waters from the waters. And Yah made an expanse or an area of space, little Hebrews. And he separated the waters which were under the space from the waters which were above the space. And Yah called this area of space heavens. And there came to be evening, and there came to be morning, the second day. And Yah said, Let the waters under the heavens be gathered together in one place, and let dry land appear. And it came to be so. And Yah called the dry land earth, and the collection of waters he called seas, and Yah saw that it was good. And Yah said, Let the earth bring forth grass, the plant that yields, or produce, or make seed, and the fruit tree that yields fruit according to its kind, whose seed is in itself on the earth. And it came to be so. And the earth brought forth grass, the plant that yields seed according to its kind, and the tree that yields fruit, whose seed is in itself according to its kind. And Yah saw that it was good. And there came to be evening, and there came to be morning, the third day. Now notice, little Hebrews, that one day involves both night and daylight hours, a new day starting when the sun has set. This is why your Shabbat day, your Sabbath day, begins on what we know as Friday night. Because when the sun sets, that actually starts the night hours of Saturday. Let us ask ourselves, who decided that a new day begins in the middle of the night? I think we all know the answer to that question. So, everything is backwards in this world, little Hebrews. Yah says, let there be evening and morning the first day. Satan says, let there be morning, then evening the first day. But let's not move too far ahead of ourselves. And Yah said, let lights come to be in the area of the heavens to separate the day from the night. And let them be for signs and appointed times, and for days and years. And let them be for lights in the area of the heavens, to give light on the earth. And it came to be so. Notice, little Hebrews, that Yah said, let them be for signs and appointed times, and for days and years. This is why we know, even if somebody came into your house and stole all of your clocks and took all of your watches, you know that the beginning of a new day is when the sun has set and it's dark outside. And it came to be so. And Yah made two great lights, the greater light to rule the day and the lesser light to rule the night and the stars. And Yah set them in the area of the heavens to give light on the earth 
and to rule over the day and over the night and to separate the light from the darkness. And Yah saw that it was good. And there came to be evening and there came to be morning the fourth day. And Yah said, let the waters teem with shoals of living creatures. Now a shoal, little Hebrews, is a place where a sea, river, or other body of water is shallow. Meaning that it's not that deep. It's not deep water. But this water is on the surface. Like what you see when you go to the beach. The water that sits next to the sand. And Yah said, let birds fly above the earth on the face of the area of the heavens. And Yah created great sea creatures and every living creature that moves, with which the waters teemed, according to their kind, and every winged bird according to its kind. And Yah saw that it was good. And Yah blessed them, saying, Bear fruit and increase, and fill the waters and the seas, and let the birds increase on the earth. And there came to be evening, and there came to be morning, the fifth day. And Yah said, before we move on, I want you to notice something, little Hebrews, because when Yah says, things come to be. So whenever Yah says something, it happens. Yah speaks things into existence. So if Yah says, let the little Hebrews understand, the little Hebrews will understand. So Yah said, let the earth bring forth the living creature according to its kind livestock and creeping creatures and beasts of the earth according to its kind and it came to be so and Yah made the beast of the earth according to its kind livestock according to its kind and all that creep on the earth according to its kind that means in the same family little Hebrews and Yah saw that it was good And Yah said, let us make man in our image, according to our likeness. This image, Hebrews, is not a physical image. Because John chapter 4 verse 24 says that Yah is spirit. So because Yah is spirit, he does not think with the flesh. So this image is not according to the flesh. This does not mean eyes and ears and mouth and nose, head, shoulders, knees and toes, you know, that thing. But this image is according to the spirit, love and righteousness, peace and justice. So again, we were created in the image of righteousness, in the image of truth, in the image of peace, in the image of justice, in the image of love, as it's given to us in the book of 1 John chapter 4 verses 6 through 8 and again that's referenced and again uh, another reference for that is the book of Genesis chapter 1 verses 26 where Yah tells the righteous angels let us create man in our image again in the image of love righteousness truth and so anytime we're not acting in the image in which we were created then we are in the image of Satan and we become children of Satan sons and daughters of disobedience so Yah said, let us make man in our image, according to our likeness, and let them rule over the fish of the sea, and over the birds of the heavens, and over the livestock, and over all the earth, and over all the creeping creatures that creep on the earth. See, Yah gave man authority or rulership, little Hebrews, over the entire earth. All the earth was ours because all belongs to Yah and he gives it according to his wishes. And Yah gave it to mankind. But you'll see what happened to our rulership next week. And Yah created the man in his image. In the image of Yah, he created him. Male and female, he created them. And Yah blessed them. And Yah said to them, Bear fruit and increase and fill the earth and subdue it and rule over the fish of the sea and over the birds of the heavens and over all the creatures moving on the earth. And Yah said, See, 
I have given you every plant that yields seed which is on the face of all the earth and every tree whose fruit yields seed to you it is for food and to every beast of the earth and to every bird of the heavens and to every creeping creature on the earth in which there is life every grain plant is for food and it came to be so and Yah saw all that he had made little Hebrews and see it was very good and there came to be evening and there came to be morning the sixth day thus the heavens and the earth were completed and on the seventh day Yah completed his work which he had done and he rested on the seventh day from all his work which he had made and Yah blessed the seventh day and set it apart because on it he rested little Hebrews from all of his work which he did in creating Everald so likewise little Hebrews we too must rest from all of our work on the seventh day because it is set apart these are the births of the heavens and the earth when they were created in the day that Yah our power made the earth and the heavens.